Welcome to my channel Creative Art. I am Nilima and today we are going to make this beautiful palette knife painting of sunflowers. Trust me friends, this one beautiful painting can enlighten your entire room. And what can be better than a sunflower painting? It's just been two weeks. I started using heavy body acrylic colors and I'm just amazed by the beauty and texture and the brightness of the colors. And I have to say that you definitely should give it a try. So friends, do watch the complete video to make it yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification for each video I post every week. So let's quickly check out the materials now. For materials, we're going to use the best quality of acrylic paint available. So that is the Camel Artist Acrylic Colors. So this one here is the medium body acrylic paint, which is Camel Artist Acrylic Paint set of 12 shades. And this one you see here is the Camel Artist Heavy Body Acrylic Paint. In the beginning, I bought the set of 6, which was enough. But now I have also bought a few more colors like light violet, medium magenta, red, cardamom yellow color and two extra white color tubes because we are going to use a lot of white in this painting. And other than that, you're also going to need this kind of cone liner. These are Camel Fabrica cone liners, which comes in this kind of tube and it has a nozzle like this. And you can easily make or draw leaves or stems or grass using this one. You get different shades of this acrylic tube. So this is very helpful. Next, we're going to need palette knives. So there are so many different shapes and sizes of palette knives. And for this painting, we're just going to need these three the first one is 1018 they come in number the next one is 1002 hs and the next one is just number seven for the base we're going to use a canvas board and this time i'm going to use a 10 into 8 inch canvas board so each time friends i will mention all the links with their exact numbers and all the details so that you can buy all these materials online so let's start now friends. This time for my painting, I'm going to make a reuse of one of my base from pore painting. So this is a canvas board of 30 into 30 centimeters. And first of all, I'm going to make use of a number seven palette knife, which looks like this. And we are going to use three acrylic colors. The first one is titanium white. The second one is a red, but it gives a pink kind of look. And the third one is a blue. I'm going to mention the exact names in the description box below. So do check it out. First of all, using my palette knife, I'm going to color the background. Now I'm using blue at the right corner of the canvas and I'll spread it using a palette knife. Each time you change color to remember to wipe out your palette knife nicely. And here I'm taking white, I'll take directly pink from here. I'm going to change my color so wipe my palette knife and now I'll use pink now I'm going to use purple with the pink Now, if you don't have the purple color, which is like deep magenta, you can also mix pink with a little bit of blue and you'll get the deep magenta color. Now I have finally made a few improvements and 
equally distributed the colors as I wanted over the base and now this is how it looks so now I will let it get dry for at least 20 to 30 minutes Till that I'm going to prepare my next colors for the flowers now after completing my base this is how beautiful the colors look on it I have used white pink deep magenta and blue you will get the exact colors in the description box below so now friends i have let it get dry and this is the next day i'm doing painting now for my next step i'm going to use these three palette knives the first one is 1008 1002 and 1018 and first of all we are going to create leaves so i'm going to use light yellow light green sap green and blue and first of all i'm going to use palette knife number 1002 gently spread the color in this way strip off the color in your palette knife which should look like this and gently place a leaf in this way can you use one more color to top it up Now after making the leaves, I have taken here three different colors. The first one is Brunzina, the second one is a little bit of black, the third one is yellow and red. I don't have orange color, so by mixing yellow with red, we can get orange color. So now I'm going to make sunflower to be. Now using my palette knife number 1008, I'm going to use Brunzina color and just roughly shape the direction of the petals to be. Now let's make orange color by mixing red with yellow. I'm going to add just a little bit more of red. The more red you add with yellow, the more brighter your orange color will look. Okay, and place your knife and drag it like S. So you'll get it exactly. Now I'm going to add a lot of cardamom yellow to my palette knife and wipe it using a cloth. Now finally we are going to start making use of yellow. So take it in your palette knife like this and then start making the petals.
Again using cardamom yellow in my palette knife. Add more of cardamom yellow, pure lime yellow. I'm going to use a lot of light yellow. Each time when you change a shade, always remember to wipe your brush, get a more clear shade. Now here comes one of the most important part, making those small small leaves. I need to add a little bit of white. Now here comes one of the most important part which is creating the center for the sunflower. So here I'm using a little bit of Brancina and just tap tap tap. Now I have turned out my painting and I'm going to add a little bit more of cardamom yellow, some light yellow and a little bit of white. Using palette knife number 1008, spread the cardamom yellow first. Now finally taking some light colors. So here you see this is the only part where I'm doing the petals in two direction because half of the petals are falling in the front side of the sunflower and half are falling on the back side. You cannot give a direction very easily to this kind of things. So you have to be very gentle and careful while doing this one. Okay, I'm finally satisfied by the flowers and now we are going to make these ones. Now here I have mixed a little bit of sap green with light yellow color and I have taken it in my palette knife number 1002 in this way and place it gently here. And finally, I'm going to place the endings in this way, just tap, 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 make some round here in this way and make a stem. So in the same way, you can make them for this flower also.
Okay, I feel it looks good. So now we let it get dry. So friends, this is how beautiful our palette knife painting of sunflowers look when it is finally completed and dry. A palette knife painting can take from one day to two weeks to dry completely and you should apply a good varnish on your palette knife painting only when your painting is completely dry. So I'm going to let my painting get dry for more two weeks and then I'm going to use my favorite varnish which is liquitex professional high gloss varnish do one to two layers of varnish and this shine of the painting is going to be forever so friends do give it a try make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below how did you like my videos friends and if you do like my videos please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching